Hi, my name is Pete from dancemidisamples.com and today I'm going to be taking a quick look at using sound fonts in Ableton Live's Sampler. Sampler is available in Live Suite or as a separate purchase from Ableton for use in Live Standard. If you don't own Sampler, you'll need a free sound font player. Take a look at the links along with this video for some freely downloadable VST and audio unit players. The first thing to do is to download yourself some free sound fonts. Again, we've listed a few links in the description to this video. You'll find that there's a huge selection of sound fonts available to download on sites such as sf2midi.com. So let's go ahead and open Ableton and drag an instance of Sampler into a MIDI channel. Now you can see we have Sampler open here. The next step is to navigate to the location of your sound fonts using Live's browser pane. I've already got it set up here. And here is a sound font that I've actually downloaded from SF2 MIDI. Now all that we need to do is to drag our selected sound font onto Sampler. This will automatically import the sound font and create a sampler instrument file in Sampler's preset list under Imports. So click your sound font, drag down to Sampler's window here, and you'll see under Imports, under Sampler Presets, we have our string preset. We can see that it's set up some zones here for our samples. Now let's try playing the sound. We can add some attack and release of course. So now you're free to play, edit and enjoy your new sounds. One great tip for using sound fonts is that they're often recorded in mono, meaning that they can benefit from a little added stereo width. This is really easy to achieve in Sampler. Simply switch to the pitch and modulation oscillator section of the Sampler, which you'll find right here, and adjust the spread control. You'll hear the results instantly. <laughs> hear the sound instantly widen. It'll also create a detune effect. You can also add filters to your sound of course. The sampler has plenty of filter types so switch to filter slash global and you can enable the filter controls here. We've got a standard low pass. We'll just play a note and you can hear it from up to down. And it's as easy as that. This technique can be used to bring sampled sounds to life and you'll find similar controls on many samplers including Logic's EXS24. Well I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial and I'll be back soon with more tips and tricks.